A local woman says she has been harassed ever since her photo was posted on a nude military Facebook page. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. Our tenders reporter Jennifer De La Cruz is live in the newsroom to explain why this is being called a threat to national security. Jen. Well, in many cases, a lot of the pictures that were uploaded to the Marines United Facebook page were of revenge porn. In other cases, it was pictures that the women took of themselves, uploaded them on sites like Instagram. They were then screenshotted or saved and put on the Marines United Facebook page. The problem was they did not have consent. When it was still up and running, the Marines United Facebook page had more than 30,000 followers. When intimate and sexually explicit photos were posted of their colleagues, a lot of comments would follow. Marissa Witek and Erica Butner, just two of those victims. What they do is they'll take a picture and put smash or pass, so would you have sex with this woman or not? And then everybody leaves their comments. The page has been taken down, but the damage has been done. It, in a way, it kind of hurts. You know, you're supposed to trust these people and you're with these people every day and... And now these people are just sexualizing you and objectifying you, and it's pretty sick. Whitech is an active duty Marine stationed at Camp Pendleton. Her new reality of harassment, something she faces every day. It's definitely scary. And as someone that has spoken out and has received backlash on social media, I can understand. Whitech and Butner's high profile attorney, Gloria Allred, says the misconduct presents a threat to national security since victims are now at risk of blackmail. Butner says the rape culture of the military is part of the problem. We're taught once we get to boot camp, we get three stereotypes to choose from. You're a bitch, you're a whore, or you're a lesbian. The victims now forced to defend their reputations are helping other women along the way. There's um, a handful of women that have reached out to me, whether it be personally or through social media, that have told me their stories in regards to how they're too terrified to come forward. They're now calling for more strict regulations from Congress to prevent this from happening again. The attorney for those two victims says she wants more victims to be able to testify. She also wants written consent to be provided before more pictures are posted in the future. Reporting in the newsroom, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. Jen, thank you.